And I am going to um, <clears throat> share my screen. Okay. Okay, so the topic of our call tonight, and I'm going to try to not talk too much, is crushing our goals in 2019. And like I said, I haven't looked through this to see if there's any typos or anything, so just bear with me. But I really just want to get the nuts and the bolts of setting some goals in the next half hour um, and really like holding our feet to the fire a little bit with some uncomfortable questions and um, some exciting questions, right? So... What I want you to do, and some of you guys have done this for me already, which is awesome. <clears throat> I'm going to give you two minutes to start drafting this. And you might have to revisit, and that's okay, all right? Um, at least write down the question so that you can come back to it. But I want you to wave your magic wand right now. And I want you to tell me what your, does your ideal life look like if you could wave a magic wand right now. When it comes to your fitness, your finances, your family, all of it, your career, all of it, be specific. This is a magic wand. I am not looking for a realistic um, goal that you're going to achieve by the end of next week, okay? I'm looking for, like, if you could create your perfect situation, what would that be? So I want you to take two minutes. I am going to time you. And just start brainstorming or at least jot down the question and revisit it at a time that's um, more restful for you, okay? our timer it's a really hard question to answer in two minutes does anyone feel um i can open this up as a round table if anybody wants to share or feels comfortable i'll share a couple of my i wrote down bullet points 
and I need to go back and kind of craft it. Does that make sense? And to like more of a reasonably looking less of a mess, but I would really like, guys, I'm still carrying around a lot of debt from my um, undergrad and graduate school. And I'd really like to have that gone um, for sure. I really like to take a 15 year anniversary trip with my husband. Um, I'd like the kids to have better college funds. I'd like to be able to help take care of my mom financially if I need to. Um, I guess I'm sharing a lot of this. Um, and I have some fitness goals down too. I mean, I really started just kind of blue. some house things I want to do, some fitness things I want to do. So really, I kind of, I have a lot and I'm still kind of pondering. Does anybody else want to share any of their bullet points or thoughts? <clears throat> I can't see everybody, so. You can just unmute yourself and talk if you want to, but no pressure. Maybe it's a personal thing or you're just still pondering and that's okay. Hey guys. I see Bethany. Okay. Um, I, see, I, I can't hear you, girl. Maybe it's my phone or my computer. Hold on. You keep talking. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I'm just sitting in bed here, <laughs> snuck away. Um, but I wrote down just more time with like my husband, like date nights. I know we go, but lately it's not been as regular. And then kid, kid dates too, just like time more with just one kid at a time. And I feel like I get spread thin. I want to be like more present with more people, you know? So that's a goal. Um, I wrote, also wrote, um, I actually wrote a trip too. We have a 10 year um, anniversary next year. So I'd love to go on a trip next year. This is me trying to hear you, girl. I literally can't. So it's my phone or it's my okay. computer. I don't know okay. why it's acting weird. Everyone else can hear me. <laughs> Maybe. But um, come on, thing. No, why don't you internet? Ignore me. I'm like a mess over here, guys. That's okay. Why I'll isn't keep my volume working? Okay. Oh, Jen can hear me. Okay. I'm like, am I talking to nobody? Okay. I hear you. I hear you. Tell me again. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay. I should have waited before I started. Talking. My brain, though, my brain, guys, is just, it's not you guys. It's like me and I'm just no. struggling today. No, you're fine. I just um said that just like more time with people, like like my husband doing yeah. dates. Yeah. And, and specific. Yeah. Like, I feel like I take the kids places, but we don't like have just time, just the two of us and like just having that like connected time again with just one person at a time um you know when it's work work time but it, when it's date night it's date night or when it's kid time it's kid time I'm just trying to be a little bit more um present in their lives and even when I see like friends and stuff just to you know plug in with just that one person um and then I wrote um the anniversary trip too we want to go somewhere next year is our 10-year anniversary so somewhere fun and I feel like yeah. that's I'll be done nursing and it'll be a good time to travel. Um, fitness, just like being more mindful of my, what I eat and stuff and getting back into it here after um, being pregnant. Yeah. So yeah, just, um, just getting back into the routine and always that strong, not skinny. I think that's a mentality that we can constantly have to reiterate mm -hmm. ourselves and our, our challengers. So I and then financial, just more financial freedom. Yes, yes, those are awesome. Thank you, Bethany. Sure. Yes, I mean, I like, you're echoing a lot of the exact same things I wrote down. So, um, I love it. Thank you for sharing. Um, the reason I had you write that down, guys, <clears throat> is because that's your why. Okay, and I want you to think about right now just some things to ponder. As you start crafting your magic wand statement, I want you to think of that as your why, because I think that for me was easier to articulate than if someone said, what's your why? To help people, I mean, yeah, I love helping people. But at the end of the day, what does my ideal life look like? And that is my why. Does your why make you cry? And if it doesn't, then you need to revisit it. For real, is it big enough to worth to be worth the sacrifice and struggle 
that's going to come with this business. And I don't say that to be negative, Nancy, because you know I love this business. I've been doing it for seven years. I love it. I would not rather be doing anything else. But there is sacrifice and struggle that comes with this business. And your why needs to be big enough. Is it enough for you to push even when you don't feel like it? Even when life is hard <coughs> or busy, when coaches quit, when people say no, all that's going to happen. So my challenge for you this week, guys, I want you to write this down, is to write down that why. I want you to take that magic wand statement, I'm going to call it, and craft it into something, bullet points or paragraph or whatever looks good to you. I want you to write it down and post it somewhere where you can see it, live it, and believe it. Because just doing it in this notebook, I mean, that's awesome, but then what's going to happen is it's going to get stuck on my desk you know, a whole pile of stuff, and that's not something I'm living. That's just something I did for this call to make Jess happy, but I want it to be somewhere where you're looking at it every day, okay? And then, one step further, I need you to share it. I need you to share it with your spouse or your partner if you're not married or... Um, your family, your bestie, I mean, whoever matters the most to you. I'm going to share mine with my, with my husband, Jason, and with my kids. And, um, and then I want you to share it with a second person, which is your upline coach and or me. If I'm not your up, you are welcome to share it with me. If I am your up, your, hold on, hold on. Good night, guys. If I am your upline coach, obviously share it with me. If I'm not, you're still welcome to share it with me, okay? Um, I want you to share it with someone in this business as well as someone in your life. Does that make sense? I'm going to explain why. I'm going to give these guys some love. Mm -hmm. Good, night, Good, night. Good night. Love you. Love you. Love you more. Love you all. Mm -hmm. I won't give you my germy lip kiss, okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. Love you more. Love you more. Love you more. I love you. I love you. All right, goodness. Sorry, guys. Um, so now is where the goal setting comes in. And I'm going to try to fly through this a little bit so that you can get to work, okay? So we're going to reverse engineer because you have this big why that you're going to craft and you're going to write it somewhere and you're going to share it. But how do we get there? First thing I want you to set, and I don't want you, I obviously didn't any animation in this so I just want you to look at the first one the 2019 end of year goal I want you to write down an income goal it can be monthly or weekly whatever makes more sense to your brain I want you to write down a rank goal and I'm going to give you time to do this in a second and a fitness goal I want you to be specific in those things okay like really specific because you know whether or not you believe in manifesting sending it out to the universe. I don't know. I, I kind of do. I didn't used to, but I kind of do, you know? So I believe if I'm telling the universe, I want to make X amount per month, or I have this fitness goal, that you should say it and verbalize it and live it. But I also believe you can't reach a goal unless it's, you know, specific. You got to love those smart goals they always used with us when I was teaching, okay? It's got to be specific. And then one thing I want you to to ask yourself, um, and this is important in this business, and I want you to jot this down, and you can talk to me a little bit about this, but is if income or rank drives you more in this business? Do you like the recognition and the rank, or do you want the money? And obviously, guys, you want to help people. That's a given, okay? You are an amazing group of women who leads from the heart, so I know that you want to help others. That's but when it comes to the nuts and bolts of this business, are you more driven by the income or the rank? They come hand in hand, but you will see I've been doing this business for a long time and I make really good money, but I am not a superstar diamond, okay? Because you can't take rank to the bank. So I want you to think about it because that's going to dictate a little bit how you build your business and I will help you with that. So I want you to write down right now your end of your goal the best that you can, okay? You may have to come back and revisit again. 
and polish it after this, but I'm gonna give you um, two minutes to do that, okay? And then, sorry, out of curiosity, I would love for you just to type in the chat box if you can think about whether income or rank drives you more in this business. There's no wrong answer and no one here is gonna judge you, okay? And if you don't wanna share, that's okay too. 2019 goal. Okay, my alarm is going off here for us. Kind of wrap up your thoughts. You can come back and, and polish that. One thing that I added to mine, and I, I know that there's some leaders. When I say leaders on this call, you're all leaders because you're amazing. But there are some people who are star diamonds or soon to be star diamonds who are leading a larger team. So one thing I want you guys to think about, Bethany, Megan, Jenny, I don't see everybody who's on this call because of the view right now. But I see you three on my call right now. Um, I want you to be thinking about what you want to do to pay it forward to your coaches too, because I will tell you that there is no greater gift than seeing Megan hit thousand dollars a week this year. Um, and seeing Bethany qualify for new leader conference to see, um, Jenny go diamond and Hallie to go diamond. And I mean, Carla is so close to diamond and just to see people, my team reach that goal. That was not a goal when I first started this business. I was just trying to like survive, man. But now once you evolve into a leadership role and you start to see your coaches start to build teams and blossom, I do think that should be part of your goal every year. Like Bethany, I would love to see you reach your income goals to see you hit that five star diamond or five star well, that too, but two star diamond this this um first six months, even, you know. I just I want you to be thinking about how you could help your team. Because that is such, it is such an amazing feeling. And one of the best things about this business is that there is no cap to your success. So Bethany could out earn me. Megan could out earn me. Jenny could out earn me. And I hope they do, you know, like there's no cap to what you can achieve. And it's such a gift to help your coaches do big things. So jot that down too, if you didn't, I think that's important. Then um, I want you to reverse engineer even further because that gets really overwhelming. Like we all have these amazing 2019 goals. I have no doubt. And I want to hear from you if you're my PF coach on what yours are. But um, what is your first quarter goal? Because we've got to start smaller, okay? What will, I didn't want to say what can you or what do you want to, but what will you be accomplishing between today and the end of March? to get you closer to your end of year goal, okay? So, um, you know, I wanna be five-star elite this year. I will be, I don't want to be. 
I will be five star elite this year. Our team will be five star elite this year. That's not going to happen first quarter. So I got to backtrack. Okay, what could happen first quarter? What is a smart goal? What is specific and measurable and limited to that time frame of the next three months? Okay, so I want you to reverse engineer your goal and start with just first quarter. Sound good? All right, so I want you to give you two minutes to do that. Two minutes is my, is my metric number tonight because I don't want to keep you too late. Okay, just like I had you guys add on a little bit to this last goal, I want you to make sure that you touched on what beach body programs or fitness goals you're going to be completing in the next three months, because that's an essential part to this journey. I know for me, I'm starting the ultimate reset this week. I am going to start Transform 20 and finish, obviously. <laughs> I think... My brain's not working too well right now. And then I'm going to be training for a marathon. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a spring marathon or a summer marathon or what it's going to be. But those are my three big fitness goals. And then obviously I have some weight loss goals. I'm still not, again, strong, not skinny, strong, not skinny. I'm still not where I would like to be, not necessarily a number on the scale, but just the way I feel in my body. Since having my fourth baby, you know, when she's two, it's been a rough journey. So, um, Ultimate Reset, Transform 20, Training for Marathon. I mean, those are three big things I'm going to be working on this first quarter. You have to have fitness goals, food goals, weight loss goals, strength goals, weight gain goals, I mean, whatever it is for you. Um, because you have to be a product of the product or your business isn't going to go anywhere if you're not showing any sort of transformation, right? So make sure you jot that down. That, that's part of this journey, okay? Um, and then I want for you guys <clears throat> to reverse engineer even further. Okay, let's break it down. What can be a monthly goal? So what could you do separately in January? And then hopefully in February, duplicate in February and March to push towards your quarter one goal. So for example, if I want to be five-star elite, I better start adding some coaches, correct? I better hit success club. If your goal is to, um, you know, become Emerald, then I definitely think that um, 
January, February, March, your goal should be to add one coach, right? If your goal is to hit success club five, I mean, you need to be thinking about what you could do. Maybe it's just to complete a program, you know, but I want you to break it down. What are you going to do in January? For sure. February, March might be blank spaces that you'll come to at the end of January, right? And that's okay. Well, what are you going to do in January? So I want you to take a little bit of time to jot down some ideas about what are you going to do this month? And then hopefully be able to duplicate next month and in March. Okay, number of coaches you want to sign, whatever it may be. So take two minutes to do that. That's our timer. I'm going to share mine really quick just because I want to give you guys an idea. And then if anybody wants to share theirs, sorry, my timer's been crazy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for January, I want to hit Success Club 10, sign five coaches, and complete the ultimate reset. You guys, if you follow my fitness journey, you know how much I've been struggling to freaking start and complete a program as designed. I don't know what my mental block is, but I'm going to do the ultimate reset as designed. February, Success Club 10, five coaches, transform 20, and then start marathon training. March, and I don't know what that exactly is going to look like. Carla, I'll need to pick your brain about that, okay? And about grandmas, too. But March, Success Club 10, five coaches, transform 20, and... um. 10 plus I have for each of these successful 10 plus more than 10 would be great. But um, transform 20 and marathon training. Those, that's what I plan to do each month consistently. That's going to reach me towards my goals. I'm reverse engineering it. I might tweak this a little bit and worst case scenario, I fall short. I'm still moving forward. Right? So talk to me. Does anybody want to share? Anyone feel comfortable sharing? Some of their monthly breakdowns because I think it does kind of help to know where people are at because not everybody in here is gonna their not goal is not gonna be successful ten plus plus five coaches and that's a huge push for me guys I don't sign five coaches ever so anyone else want to share you can just unmute yourself and talk but no pressure. Okay, that's cool. Um, so then these are just some things I want you to think about and jot down. Your monthly goals are all 
fine and good and amazing. And of course you can accomplish them, but what are your daily non-negotiables that are going to get you there? Obviously the vital behaviors, right? But like, what else? What do you need to do on the daily to get those vital behaviors done? Would you be thinking about that and maybe make a note? And then this is really key. How much time each day or week do you plan to work your business? And I need you to be really honest with yourself. Is this in line with your goals? If my goal this year, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, oh. If my goal this year is to be five-star elite, which it is, and I say, I'm going to work 30 minutes a day in my business, I'm going to call bullshit. There's no way I'm going to hit five-star elite working for 30 minutes a day. It's just not going to happen. Okay? So I need you to be honest with yourself. Or on the flip side, if you're like, I'm going to work um, two hours a day, three hours a day in my business, two to three hours a day. But my goal is to be emerald and make $100 a week. Why are you putting so much time and effort into something that's making you $100 a week? That's crazy. And that does not feel good. Okay, so stop showing up for something that's not a ton for something that's not connecting to your goal or stop not showing up when your goal is huge. You need to make sure that they align. Your efforts have to align with your goals. And um, I think that was a really big disconnect for me this year. I had really big goals and I show up every day with consistency, but I did not push hard enough and I know I didn't that's me being really honest with you guys I just I didn't dedicate the time or energy that was that needed to reach my goals it didn't mean I didn't have a good year it didn't mean I didn't build my business but I need to be honest with myself that I didn't probably dedicate enough time and I was not organized enough so I want you to be thinking about that and the flip side also don't put in so much effort into something. If your goal isn't huge, your goal should be big then. You deserve that. And have you communicated any of this to your partner if you have a partner? If you don't have a partner, cool. If you do have a partner, they may not understand why you're working so hard if they're not seeing the money in the bank, okay? So you need to be communicating this to your partner. This is my goal and this is the amount of time and this is what I need from you because I have yet to see a super successful coach in this business who does not have a supportive spouse. I mean, unless they're single, but I have not seen a top coach in this business whose coach, whose spouse is a naysayer. You need to communicate that. Okay. Sound good. All right. Roadblock. And again, this is never me trying to be negative. You guys know me. I'm not a negative gal. But um, I, want you to be, I want you to be sharing about right now. Um, I want you to tie, and I can't see the chat box, but we'll look at it afterwards. I want you to share. I want all of us to share what we know is a weakness for us or struggle for us when it comes to working towards our goals. We have these huge goals. We're all excited. And how do you plan to overcome that hurdle? Okay, so is it? What, what holds you back? Here's some examples. Maybe it's your confidence. Maybe you're too busy. That's a huge one for me. Um, not understanding some of the nuts and bolts of the business. Maybe you don't understand how you're going to reach your income goal. Girl, I can help you. We'll just schedule a one-on-one -on -one call and we'll look at the numbers. And I'm an English, master's in English. And I can understand the numbers. So I know I can help you. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you get burnt out or bored or just... It is a monotonous business sometimes. Maybe the consistency piece is hard for you. Maybe your organization is shitty. Mine is. Okay. I don't think it's necessarily holding me back from my goals, but do I think I'd be more effective if I had a better organization? Yeah, I do. My consistency is on point. Do I get burned out? Yeah. Okay, so I want you just to take a second to type in the chat box. What do you see as your biggest roadblock? Because identifying it is key to overcoming it. Okay? You're making yourself vulnerable right now. I'm going to say being too busy, burnout, and organization are huge for me in 
stopping me from accomplishing what I want to accomplish in this business. And there's probably other stuff I didn't even think of that could be on this list. So just jot your, your roadblocks. It's helpful to know that we're not alone. But how are you going to overcome this hurdle? Is it going to be personal development? Is it going to be getting a success partner? Is it going to be scheduling a one-on-one -on -one with me? Is it going to be um, digging into the coach online office and figuring it out? The nuts and bolts. Is it going to be taking something off your plate to create more time? That is something that I'm just talking at you. But some of you guys know I, I stepped down from Market Council here in Madison. It's a huge, like this is the first Beach Friday event. I'm not like super Saturday. I'm not really organizing. I also am done being president of my daughter's preschool, like school board. Why? Because of being too busy. I was, though they're not serving me, they're not serving my family, they're not serving my business. I was tired. That's time. Time is precious. So maybe there's something you could take off your plate to overcome your hurdle. I took two big things off my plate this year, and I'm feeling really proud of myself for doing that. Um, so I want you to just type in the chat box, what are some roadblocks you have, and how are ways that you can overcome that hurdle? When I'm struggling with confidence, personal development always helps. Okay, so just take a second to chat, and we will talk about that in a minute. But you're not alone. We all have roadblocks. I can't see the chat box in this mode, I don't think. I can't, but I can see it when I get out of the screen share. So I'm asking you to be a little vulnerable here, I know. All right, I've got two more slides for you guys. This week, I want you to have some action steps. So what can you do to push a little harder towards your goal? I want you to write down three action steps. I do want you to share with a partner. I can be that partner, okay? If you don't have a partner, that's something else we should talk about, right? Maybe that's an upcoming goal for our team is to get partnered up. But you can always text me and share with me, but write down three action steps that you can do this week. Bethany, I'm claiming you as my partner to share this with, okay? I don't know if you're still on here because I can't see you. Yep, sounds good. Vice okay. versa. I have my three written down. I'm going to share them with Bethany when we get off the call. While you're working on that, I missed my very first slide, and I'm super curious to know about this. So I'm going to go back there. Okay. Some of you I know do because I've been following you on social media and your amazing presence, and some of you I don't know, and that's okay. But... I want to end this call and then we'll go into the chat box and kind of connect here. But I want to know, do you have a focus word that's driving you for 2019? Mine, I'll explain in a minute. But I want you to share by typing it in the chat box. And if you don't, that's okay. Um, but I want you to come up with one. And I want these things, I want you to ponder these things. How are you maintaining your focus on this word? Are you going to wear it? like on a bracelet or, you know, are you going to post it somewhere? What are you going to do? And maybe I don't have an answer for myself yet. Okay. But how are you putting your word into practice in your daily life is my next question. These are just things I want you to think about. Okay, so I'm going to chat my word in here. 
um, too, but my word is gratitude. <clears throat> Sorry, I am struggling. <laughs> and that came from um, Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. If you haven't read it yet, you need to read it. Okay, it's so amazing. But um, she talks about how joy is the most vulnerable emotion we can feel because when we feel pure joy for things we are um, making ourselves really vulnerable to all the things that could happen to take that away from us you know and and how the people who practice the best joy in their world who see the most joy practice gratitude on a daily basis and not just have an attitude of gratitude which I always do because I'm a optimist but like practice gratitude and how you're if you're connected to gratitude in your world you're gonna bring more joy to you and the more success okay so my word this year is gratitude and that I do not know how I'm going to hold it in my day to day life like somewhere where I can see maybe I need a bracelet or something but I am I have a gratitude journal and like today was kind of a hard day for me because I don't feel good and just kind of just I didn't have nappers, and you know, it's just a shitty day. So today is hard for me to dig deep and find gratitude, but you know, one thing I find gratitude in is all of you, okay? So I'm trying hard to every day reflect, have a practice of gratitude. That is my goal for the year, because I feel like last year I got really caught up in all the things I didn't accomplish. Does that make sense? And that was a crappy place to be in. That's silly. So this year I'm trying to find joy and gratitude. So that is my word gratitude. So if you have a word, jot it down. And I just took up a lot of your time talking about it, but I want to look at the chat. You can unmute yourself too, if we need to. Okay. I want to look up really quick. Okay. Income, income, income. Okay. Oh, Carla, we need to talk about that. Okay. Um, Lots of income goals over rank. I'm just looking back at the chat because I couldn't see it in there. Um, my personal opinion is this. Amanda taught me how to build for income, not rank. And I've taught Megan how to build for income, not rank. I think that building for income is going to serve your family better than building for rank. Rank is lovely. Do I feel bad that I'm not further ahead in my rank um, and recognition? Because I know that it would make you guys look up to me more. It would make, I mean, it, it would, I could walk across the stage, like all those things. I want those things. Yes, but income has changed my family's life. So when you struggle to know how to achieve certain income in your business, please don't be shy about shooting me a message. I'd schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with you anytime. Okay. Um, rank is more straightforward on how to achieve than income is. Um, but this business is limitless in its ability to provide income for your family. And our team is a high achieving team. So there's a lot of volume happening there. So don't be shy about reaching out to me for help when it comes to income. Okay. Um, that's good for me to know that that's what motivates you because for example, Bethany and Megan are in Jason's business center. That has not helped my rank, right? I would be many more diamonds, but it has helped my income. Okay. So, um, yeah, Bethany, you do look ridiculously fabulous. I agree with Kayla. Mm hmm. It's true. Megan's got to run. Okay. Um, Jen says she's not efficient. Bethany says organization and being busy. Carla says consistency. Getting overwhelmed with life. Yeah, well, it's going to be the first year you shut down. I get that. Jenny says, managing your time between family, your full-time job, and beach body. Yes. Um, Jen says, I'm super busy. I think I'm doing the right things, but I'm missing something. <laughs> totally wrong audience. Jen has all the dudes on Instagram. Oh, all the men love her but because she's beautiful, but it's not helping her grow her business. Um, <laughs> I don't have a problem. <laughs> They're not chasing me on Instagram, but you guys should see seriously. It's crazy. Um, 
Jen, we need to have a one-on-one -on -one call to kind of narrow down what you're spending your time and energy doing. Yeah. Kayla says fear of rejection from family. Yeah. We got to get you going on your PD, Kayla. Um, Trisha's busy. Too many hobbies. Not efficient. Consistency, balancing everything, including time for you to charge. Andrea, you're super busy. You have a super demanding full-time job, too. Um, emerge. Oh, I love that. That's a good one, Carla. Purpose. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you really, Kayla? You ordered a, br a bracelet? That's awesome. That's perfect. Discipline. I think bracelet's nice or like a sign, like Carla said. With. Oh, phone background's a really good idea, Andrea. I love that. The amount of time we spend looking at our phone. Uncomfortable. Nothing I know you don't like to give up that control. That's a big for you. Focus. Yes. Oh, okay. I love these. It's neat to hear other people's words and other people's, like, it's neat to know you're not alone in some of your struggles, too. Um, if you guys want, does anyone have any questions or things they want to share? Was this helpful? So you can do your homework when you get off the call as far as, like, Finishing up just writing things down and messaging it to the people you need to message it to. You are all welcome. If you don't have an upline who's working very much, like Carla, I know you don't. Kayla, I know you don't. Um, I think you're the only two who don't have an upline who's working much. You can message me your stuff, obviously. I'm here to help you and I love you both. Anyone want to share anything else? I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just, I needed this focus. So this is partially, I know I don't feel well. And I, was like, I don't really want to get on the call, but I knew I needed to do it for me too. Okay. I can't wait to see you guys crush your, crush your year. All right. So I'm going to let you go, but get to work and um, message me. If you need a one-on-one -on -one call or just with your goals or any of it, thoughts, I'm here for you, okay? All right, love you guys. I'm gonna let you go and rest my voice. All right, bye.